pretty worried. There's only one shoe left. Ooh, okay. I was definitely not expecting this. What? What the? What is up guys, Cam's Kicks here bringing you guys another video. Alright, so in this episode I'm going to be comparing Grail City in Connecticut and the Soul Socket in Nashville, Tennessee. So welcome back to the third episode where I'm on a mission to see which sneaker store has the best sneaker mystery box. So today I'm actually in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm not able to make it into their store, but nevertheless I'm still going to be reviewing the mystery box and seeing how good it is compared to the other ones that I've bought. I'm going to be in Tennessee for a couple weeks, I'm visiting my parents right now. I'm pretty excited, so this is the first episode in Tennessee see that I'm gonna be doing hopefully I'm gonna do at least one or two other episodes of seeing which store has the best sneaker mystery box while in Tennessee what's up guys that's me what's up bro that's me bro good good sorry I couldn't make it to the shop I appreciate you guys coming by you're good this is for you okay uh, I'm assuming you're a large yes I am. okay and it's shirts? just one of my shirt. No, it's a sweatshirt. Sweatshirt? Oh, Some awesome, man. Thing, and then Appreciate socks. that. Cool, man. So that's yours. Thank you so much. Hey, uh, Who's the owner? Me. You own it? Okay, yeah. so it's what? Grail City, right? Yeah. Cool. You want to talk about it a little bit, what you guys do? Pretty much, we just bring grails to everyone. Okay, that's okay. Just it's in the, the name, right? Yeah. Yeah. No. So it's, it's fun. It's a hobby. Okay. Really? It's just nice. a hobby that turned into a store. That's what's up, man. How Thank long you have you guys been open for? Uh, I opened up last February. It's like. 13 months. Awesome, man. How's it going so far? Can't complain. I'm trying to do a, other states. Trying to expand? Yeah, Connecticut's good, but I want to go down south more. Exactly. Warmer weather. Like what state? Any, anything in mind? Florida. That's good. Yeah. Florida, good, maybe good Texas. I think you're up from okay. Texas, right? How's yeah. Texas? I lived in Texas for like seven months. I'm probably about to move back there, honestly. So I, I like it there. Anywhere where it's not cold. Yeah, I, I'm not I a fan of the cold. I don't do the cold. Dude. Today's actually been pretty nice. Yeah. It was like 70 out earlier. Yeah, no, I don't yeah. do the cold. Dude. Yeah, me neither. So, it's not my only thing. I do landscaping and then real estate, so it's like... Nice, so you got multiple oh, streams yeah, of revenue. Just, That's the way to go, man. Where's your shop located at? What's the address? 360 North Main Street, Southington. And then where can I follow you guys on Instagram? At Grail City Shoes. So I'll pop that up on the screen. I'm about to get the man paid, and then you guys will see what's inside the box. Alright guys, so I'm back. I got the mystery box. As you guys can see, it's the next day. I'm wearing a different outfit now because those guys were actually super cool. Big shout out to the guys at Grill City. We ended up talking for a little while, so then we ended up grabbing dinner and hanging out for a little bit, so I didn't get a chance to film the mystery box yet. Still have no idea what's in it. Now, as you guys can see, this is by far the smallest box I've gotten so far. There's only been two other boxes, but those other boxes were definitely much bigger, so I'm kind of worried, to be honest, but the guys were really cool, so I'm guessing it's still going to be some good stuff, but yeah, I guess I'm going to start unboxing it, guys. Alright, so it's actually more shoes than I thought. I was a little bit wary at first. Didn't seem like it was that many shoes. It's actually one, two, three, four pairs of shoes. So definitely the least amount I've gotten to. The first box was nine shoes. The second box was five shoes that I've gotten. So we will see. The first one we got a Yeezy Slide box. This one is a pair of the Glow Greens. Okay. And I think these are brand new. Let me double check. Yeah, brand new glow green Yeezy slide size 9. So this one I believe is around $200 in value. So decent start. Got about 10% of my money back. The next one, it's pretty obvious. It's a Jordan 1 Pollen. So this one is a size 8.5. They actually have their barcodes on the box. They were selling it for $230. Honestly, I think that's the exact price that I would sell it for. So I think that's pretty accurate. A brand new Jordan 1 Pollen size 8.5. Like I said, they had it at 230. So so far we're about 430 of value in the box. We got a pair of Oreo 5s, or I think they're actually called the Moonlight 5s. Now this one's probably a little bit below $300 if I remember correctly. And yeah, this is brand new, so that's good. I'll just say $270 to make the math easy. So now we're at about $700 of value in the box. Pretty good start so far. This Moonlight 5 is a brand new size 9. So that's three shoes in. And actually we got some other items at the bottom down here, so I'm not sure. Maybe those were the ones that we're gonna be giving away because he said there's some stuff that he put in here that's gonna be a giveaway. So, pretty worried. There's only one shoe left. I don't know what this could be, but it's bubble wrap, so I'm guessing that means it's a really good shoe. And we're only about $700 of value so far in the box, so I don't know. This would have to be worth $1,300 just to retain my money back. So, let's see what it is. All right, so still a little bit worried. I'm hoping that this is a replacement box because I don't know what Nike SB comes in a purple box that would be worth like $1,300, $1,500. That's pretty crazy, but let's see. Ooh, okay, I was definitely not expecting this. I don't know why, I didn't even think of the Supreme SBs when I saw this box, but 
No, this is definitely a great shoe right here. It's a brand new size 11 and a half. For anyone that doesn't know, size 11 and a half in Nike shoes and Jordans is typically a money size. Typically they make less size 11 and a half, especially in limited shoes like this. This is the Nike Dunk Low SB Supreme Stars in the mean green colorway. Definitely a fire pair of shoes. I actually used to have all four of them. I got them brand new. I wanted them as personals, but for anyone that doesn't know, the value actually tanked a lot on these. They used to go for a lot more. And of course I paid the high for them and lost a lot of money unfortunately so I have no idea what they're sitting at right now especially in a size 11 and a half yeah and it's not even priced either because a couple of the shoes that they had were actually priced with their price on it so this one I definitely am gonna look up on StockX just to see kind of what the value is oh I was not expecting this at all so a brand new size 11 and a half the lowest ask is $2,050 highest bid is $1,410 last sale $1,455 so I don't know what this is worth I think the ask of $2,000 is actually very high because a size 11 is 1400 a size 12 is about 1300 and a size 13 is about 1400 so I don't know I'm gonna say it's worth probably around 1600 it could be more it could be less so the box is worth about $2,300 so that's a 15% markup definitely a lot lower than the other boxes but I still should be able to make a little bit of profit and everything was brand new all fast movers so I'm not worried about it and there's actually one more item in here it is a oh I'm sorry two more items in here there's two essentials items in here they're both shorts it looks like brand new fear of god essentials shorts oh this is actually a shirt I'm sorry a brand new essential shirt it's got the essentials on the back they had this at a hundred bucks and there's also another one looks like the same tee so two of the same tees they had a hundred dollars each and now that's about 24.75 so 25.75 This store is actually on the second floor. I haven't seen this one before. Pretty interesting. Looks like a pretty good location. I'm excited to see the store. And they actually reached out to me. I actually met him before at Dallas Sneaker Con. So that's cool that I happen to be in the area. And I'm excited to see what's in this box. So I'm gonna take you guys along. I think that's a bookstore. Yeah, how are you, man? I'm doing fine, man. I actually met you before at Dallas yeah, Sneaker Con, right? Yeah, yeah. You're my wife and uh, she had fashion. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's so crazy because she had sent me a DM because I was actually looking for stores in Nashville to go to because I want to do this series that I'm doing. I'm basically reaching out to stores and saying I want to grab a mystery box from them and just trying to kind of find the best sneaker mystery okay. box I can get. So I think I might. You think you, you think you topped it? I think, I'm going to be honest. I think I am. I think I'm okay, I'm excited to see what's in it. Yeah, I think I am. You want to go ahead and go through it though? Yeah, should I open it here? I've never opened it in the actual store, so. Oh, you don't have to, no, nah, you don't have to. No, I can if you want. You think that would be cool? I think so, yeah. Okay, yeah, we can do that for sure. Like Before we do that, though, you want to show the store around a little bit? Maybe talk about a couple things? Like, uh, what do you guys do? Yeah, so I'm still fairly new. I've been open for like a year and a half. I opened up during the pandemic, so. Okay, uh, I, I know a lot of people opened up during that time, and that was a very good time to open for people, I, so. Yeah, that's what I tell people. So, like, I'm still kind of low on inventory, but I'm still working my way up there, you know, just trying to hit different sneaker conventions and stuff but okay cool so you still traveling the sneaker shows a lot and stuff to kind of acquire not inventory as well, not as much because i don't got as much help yeah in the store but you know i'm working on building getting there though i'm working okay. on getting there though. nice is there any like cool items you want to maybe show off i know it's a pretty uh, cool store i definitely like the layout it's dope man yeah i, I want to change it up but i mean i don't really got too much cool stuff i mean to my customers it's cool but to me it's like i see it every day so it's like mm, it's not as much that cool to me. Okay. I think the only thing I got is these custom Air Force Ones that I did on Nike about like three years ago. And it was just kind of like, I got my birthday on the bank. I tell myself every year I'm that's still on, but I just still don't. But it's, <laughs> that's like probably is that a, most, That's a Nike ID? Yeah. Okay. I that's cool. That's cool. Collab it was, but they left it up for like maybe an hour. And, uh, wow. No, it might have been a day. Might have been a day, and then they took them right back there. Is it like patent leather? Yeah. Yeah. I've never mm -hmm. seen something like that. That's dope, man. Cool. But that's probably really about it, though. Okay. Nothing else you want to show in the entire story? 
gotta have something, bro. I mean, yeah. I mean, I got pretty much general release stuff. You know, okay. stuff that you see in every other store. Okay. I got my deck collection, my pop dolls. Nice. You know, Funko pops. I'm still trying to work on building up, bringing a little bit more cool stuff in here. No, it's stuff, man. I work with local brands around okay. the city. I let them bring their clothing line in here, like that one. Right like there. consignment or on GP, just to kind of help okay. build their brand for the moment. I let them like leave it in here for a couple months and then nice. see where it go. Yeah, that's pretty much it though, man. So what's your, like your future plans? Are you trying to expand the store, get more inventory? What are you Most trying to do right I now? I want to expand the store and get more inventory. Just bring a, a different feel to Nashville overall. Okay. I mean, everybody wants that LA feel instead of having to go all the way out there for yeah. the coolest sneaker store in the world. I just want to bring it here to Nashville. Exactly, man. Right yeah, yeah. All right, so of course, before we open the box, I got to pay you, so. Yeah, most definitely. <laughs> so if you want to count that out. That is two. Two thousand? Yeah, okay. Two. Perfect, man. What do you want to open this box with? Let's let's make it unique. Let's open it with something different that not everyone opens a box with. Mm, <laughs> I would say this, but I'm out of fuel. Ah, oh, dang <laughs> it! Is that like a flamethrower? Uh, it's like a, a mini flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You gotta have something else interesting. Let's see. Uh, okay. Let's see. That's plastic. What is that? It's a Ouija. You know. A Ouija. Yeah. Okay. All right. Wow. Got a lot of shoes in there. Gravitating towards this right here, Supreme box. This is the Supreme 14s. I don't think I've ever actually owned a pair of these. I was skeptical on when I first bought them, but yeah. they kind of grew on me. Yeah, no, they're definitely a pretty interesting shoe. And this one is lightly worn. Okay, not bad. I actually like getting worn shoes like this because like the value, it's lower and it's easier to sell for someone because it's like, you don't have to sell it at the top market price. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I kind of go with that too. Okay. What do you think it's worth? I'd say around 200. I can't really okay. remember what I've seen them going for. Let me see. It might be a little more. Because brand new, they're about 325. Last sale, 300. Obviously, it's worn, but I don't know, I'm going to be fair. I'm going to say 220. 220? Yeah, I'll just say 220. Let's see. So 220. Good first shoe. Is this the Island Green 13s? Is that what this one is? Is that what they're called? Something. I think it was something else because I looked them up the other day. Okay. It was called something else, I believe. And this one's brand new? Yes, the yes. Okay, very nice. This isn't one you see too often, actually. It doesn't have a lot of value, but it's a pretty good shoe. It's not bad to have them brand new. Around 240, if I'm not mistaken. 240? Okay. Not too much. I mean, maybe between 240 to 260. Okay, let me see. Yeah, I'd probably put it around like 250, so. Two fifty. All right. So so far we're at four seventy. First two shoes were about what is it like a fourth of the money back. So not bad so far. Let's see next shoe we got a pair of Jordan fours. It's the Fire Red fours. Oh, very nice. Classic pair of shoes. Love this pair. Lightly worn. Not bad at all. Got the Nike Air on the back. Do you like this release better than the what was it twenty twelve release before this? Honestly, that's my first pair. Oh really? First, I seen the twenty twelve. Yeah. I didn't get too close to them to kind of really prejudge it. So I, I yeah. would say. I will have to go with this one. Yeah, I like this one a lot better. Just the Nike Air is so classic, and then obviously the paint quality is a lot better. It's not gonna crack on you as of right now. What do you think this one's going for? Use, lightly use, I said about three. 280 to three. 280 to three? I said about 280 is fair to sell it for, so yeah. All right, so, so far we're at 750. Great value so far, just off of three shoes. If you want to show inside the box, look at that. There's still a lot of shoes, so I think we got a lot of potential here. Next shoe in the box, we got a pair of Jordan 5s. Don't know which one this one is. Oh, nice. What the fives? This is definitely an out there pair of shoes, but I know a lot of people do like this one. I don't know if I like them personally, and it is lightly worn. How do you feel about this shoe? I love them at first. No, yeah. I hated them, then I love them, then it was like hate love kind of situation. Yeah. Okay, okay. I feel like I'm gonna grow on them a couple years from later. Yeah. I feel like I feel I'm you. Like, Oh man, I think I want another pair. Because it's just something about that yellow shoe that I love the most. I yeah, I like the yellow one because it looks like the Tokyo 5. So that's why this one's so cool. And then that looks like the Raging Bull kind of, obviously. So what do you think this one's going for? I say use probably like 200. 200? Yeah. Yeah, it sounds about right. Let me see. This one I'd probably say maybe like 180. Yeah, just since it's worn, but so we'll see. We're at 930 so far. Off of four shoes, so we're about almost halfway there. And we got more than four shoes for the rest of the house. So I, th I think we got some potential here. Let's see. This one, I can just tell what it is off the box. Love this pair of shoes. The Lightning Jordan 4s, but is it worn or brand new? That's the question. Worn? Okay. Very lightly worn though. Not bad at all. No major markings. Bottoms are clean, not too dirty. So did you clean this pair up? Yeah. Yeah, I, I could tell it's, it's pretty clean. What do you think this one's going for right now? I would probably have to value that one like around 210. 210? About 210. Just to make it even, I'm just going to say like 200. 200, so we're at 11.30 so far. Not bad at all. This one, I have no idea what this could be. I mean, this could be a lot of shoes, I guess, so I'm gonna see what this is. Okay, the 
undefeated Air Max 97s and is this brand new? Yeah, brand new. Nice. Okay. This is what? Is it the Volt colorway? Is that what it's called? Well, it was like two different color kinds with that Volt color in it. So I, I mean, I'm assuming it probably is. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. I know this one doesn't hold a lot of value, but. A hundred, like really? That low? It might be a little more. Let me see. At least it's brand new, though. If it was used, that would be worth like nothing, essentially. Lowest ask is one twenty nine. Last sale one ten. I'll probably just say like one twenty. So that puts us right at twelve fifty. Okay, we're getting there. Not bad at all. Jordan one box. Is this something I should say for last? You think, or is this just uh, kind of a? Yeah, say that one. For okay, yeah, we'll yeah, save this one. Okay, this is a Fear of God box. I'm pretty sure. Fear of God ones. Is this like the air raid? Is that what it's called? Yeah, the air raid. Which is. It's it's surprisingly It's slept on, it I feel like, on. yeah. Yeah, it most definitely is. Hmm. I know people didn't care for the low pair, but that one actually... This one's not as bad. Yeah, I like this. These are brand new, right? Yeah, they're Okay, is. brand new, size 6. What is this one going for? <laughs> it's going to shock you. Is it really? I think it's going to shock you. It's okay, I, I'm going to look it up what it's going for. I'm kind of worried. <laughs> what? What the heck? You know how long? I've You've had it for a while, haven't you? Yeah, I, I, I had the black pair once in, in like a small size like this and I sat on it forever, but I don't know what it's worth because the lowest ask is 530, but keep in mind, people can ask whatever they want for a yeah. shoe, so I don't think it's worth that. Last sale, 270, highest bids, 208. I don't I don't know. What do you think it's worth, like, realistically? Realistically, I think yeah. like 250. 250? It's just me being honest. If I was going to buy them again for my yeah. life, the most I would probably do is like 250. Yeah, I'm going to put it at 250 because I don't want to sit on it. It's it's a shoe. If you price it fair, it'll sell. But if you overprice it, then that's when it'll sit. So okay, so we're at fifteen hundred dollars right now. Not bad at all. We still got four shoes left. The value is definitely going to be here. Great box so far. Very happy with what's in it. So actually, I just saw a very good box right here. I didn't even see this. We'll probably go to this. Oops, that's my phone. We'll probably go to this like second to last. This is a Space Jam Eleven box, but that's a very good one. Let's see some Jordan Fours. Definitely a grade school size. Is this the Red Thunders? Mm. Oh, okay. Very nice one. Wouldn't mind having these at all. Is it brand new? Yeah, DS. DS, very nice, okay. So we got a brand new pair of Red Thunder 4s. This one is in a size five and a half. Don't know exactly what this one's going for. Guessing it's somewhere around two something. I mean, what? Like three. Is it closer to three? Okay. Yeah. I was gonna say like higher twos. Let me see. Okay, wow. Lowest ask right now is 300. Last sale 267, so what do you think, like 300? Yeah, I think that's fair. This is a shoe you can price a little bit higher just because it's a good mover. A lot of people are looking for this one right now. So, all right. So, so far we're at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pairs of shoes. The most I've gotten in a box so far, $2,000 box was nine pairs. So this tops it. So this next shoe, there's no way that this isn't worth at least $200 because that, that'll set us over the value. So let's see. Space Jam 11s. All right. And is it worn or brand new? It's BS. Oh, let's go. A brand new pair of 2016 Space Jam 11s. This is a very good shoe. I know this definitely just set us over the value. Even if it was worn, like even for a pretty beat pair, I think is worth probably around 200. So being DS, I, I don't even want to know what this is worth at this point. Uh, let's see. I think around 550. 550? Lowest ask right now is 440. I'm gonna say 450. I'm gonna be fair. I'm gonna say 450. It's a good shoe, but I don't want to overprice it. So let's go. So we're at 2250 right now and we still got one more pair of shoes. So definitely gonna be over the value. Already are on this second to last pair. The last shoe, is it a really good Jordan one or what do you think? It is. Okay. Yeah, it's most definitely a really good Jordan one. Okay. I think personally, they did really good on that shoe. Good day. Okay. Yeah. We're about to see what it is. Last pair of shoes. It is a grade school size. Oh shoot, this is a seven men's. No, no, uh-uh. No, this is, look. Seven women. Seven, oh, seven yes, women's. Women. Oh, okay. I thought it was gonna be a grade school box because it was so small, but it's actually a women's pair. What is it? Okay. Oh, this is one that you do not see. I've only had these like a very long time ago, and this pair is lightly worn, right? Literally yeah. Lightly worn. Worn once, I could clean that up and look at make it look almost brand new. What is this even called? I, I've only seen this pair like it's once weird. before. It's called Twist. Twist, that's what it's called. Yeah. The Jordan 1 Twist. I was thinking it was going to be like Panda 1 or something. Yeah, it's yeah. Called Twist. Me, realistically, I value a set around 4, 450. 450? Yeah. 
here. Okay, let's see. Brand new, 724, last sale, 725. I'm gonna price it a little high just to see if it'll move. I'm gonna put it at 500 just because it's so clean. Yeah, it's literally Yeah, no, worn it's worn. it's very lightly worn. So I had three pair of those. Did, did you really? Didn't realize what I had. No, they they they've gone up a lot because I remember when they first came out, they weren't going for anything. So that's crazy. That puts us at a final value of twenty seven fifty. So wow, that's a great box. I really appreciate it, man. No, I appreciate yeah, it, thank bro. you so much, man. Yeah, 2750, great box, really cool store. If you guys are ever in Nashville, you guys will definitely have to check them out. Uh, where are you located at, man? 1801 Jefferson Street, suite okay. 204, right upstairs behind the elevator. All right, so they are on the second floor. That's pretty cool, too. I think this is the first sneaker store I've been to that's on the second, second floor. floor. So, yeah, yeah it's pretty cool. I don't get that much traffic, but it's, you know. No, it's a, it's a dope spot. To look up. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, but awesome. That's going to do it for this video. Make sure to like, comment, and share. If you guys aren't already subscribed, what should they do, my man? Subscribe. Okay, okay. Up, and I appreciate it. Okay. Subscribe, yes, sir. And make sure to turn on the post notification bell so you guys can be notified every single time I upload a new video. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Cam's Kicks Official. And where can they follow you guys on Instagram? At the Soul Socket. That's awesome. S O L E S O C K E T. Yeah, make sure to follow him. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate yeah, it. appreciate it, bro.